coming into the attack. She goes big. Goes without go all the way. Bounces without race. No, Hereta is there. She picks it up. But they'll go for two runs comfortably. That's more like it. That's more the approach. And you can hear the clap from the Nigerian bench and even the fans here applauding for that shot, for that aggressive attack done by Salome Sunday. Really, Salome is a big hitter. On a good day, Salome is one player to be trusted to deliver this game to the Nigerian side. But hey, the Rwandan bowlers and fielders are well alert. And as much as they can, they want to pick up this win to end the first round of matches on a high. A nail-biting encounter here. She goes big but misses it. She needs to judge the flight of the ball. I'm looking at the field set now. Set. They have mid-wicket, long on, waiting for Salome. And if, a bigger pardon, they have deep square, cow corner, and long on, waiting for Salome Sunday, where she plays a traditional shot. Slaps it towards the offside where extra covers just comes in. And just one run. At this point, a lot of people will be saying Nigeria is not under pressure. Just keep rotating the strikes. Keep the runs, keep the ball taking, keep the run coming. Forget the big boundaries. You just have 15 balls and you have 13 runs. And the run rate has increased to 5.20. But the boundary now will change the face of the game. Absolutely. Boundary will change the face of the game. Nigeria needs 13 runs. In about 15 balls. On the ground, good stop by the bowler. Stretching her hands. And no run taken. This game is going down to the wire, IJ, I must say. Hopefully we don't get to see a super over. <laughs> But what we're seeing now is this intense rivalry. It's a game that most people are watching cleanly and putting so much interest into. Next it to a slipper run out chance. Ooh. A direct hit would have taken Salome Sonne back to the boundary. Back to the pavilion, I beg your pardon. She had to dive in. And Crystal Bell will be saying, I'm sorry for that call. As it's 12 runs need required in 13 balls, IJ. 4.7 is the re run rate required has risen now to 5.54. They need a boundary. A boundary absolutely is one to seal off this game as quick as the Nigerian side can. Ooh, swing and miss. But it's a white ball. Signal there by umpire Olumide Akitoku. That white ball. Will be much appreciated by the Nigerian side as he's just taking their run rates. Runs required a little bit lesser. As it's 85 now. Level needed in 13 balls. No ball called by the square leg umpire. And would that race to the boundary for four? Yes, it has. That's the much needed boundary, IJ, we've been talking about. No ball called by the umpire. And let's see at the square leg. And the boundary, that will be five runs. Free hit signaled. And that no ball was due to the fact that the wicket keeper stretched for the hands. And that was a good call by the umpire, Enesi. Six runs required in 13, but Salome Sunday on strike with a free hit. She goes to the leg side. Would that be a boundary four? And it's a four. Boundary four, IJ. The game has gone to in favor of Team Nigeria. Yeah, but I mean, we're just talking about boundaries, boundaries. Which will likely seal this, seal this game for the Nigerian side. But here we see back-to-back -back boundaries from... Salome Sunday putting Nigerian side needing two runs in just in 12 balls. Just two runs in 12 balls. And they see of this game, Nigeria earlier won the toss and upset to field. 
really looking as if the game is going it is almost going their way it is not all just almost going their way it's technically within their reach because right now the required run rate is just one bar over and nigeria just needs two runs in 12 balls would crystal bell be saddled with the responsibility of giving nigeria that victory that they really need against their rivals rwanda i think nigeria has been superb especially in the first innings seeing uh, a player like the, sp the, the spinner Adeshola Adekunle taking off four wickets in that first innings Adekunle did basically the job for the Nigerian side seeing them coming down to chase 90 96 runs and they have they need just two runs in 12 overs to win two runs rather in 12 balls to win as expected belize is the new bowler coming in it was we said it earlier that was between myself and bob we knew I, we both knew she was coming into both the 19th over because she had, has just bought two overs considered 11 runs now she has six balls to bowl to see if she can put pressure back to team nigeria but nigeria needs just two runs in 12 balls crystal ball on strike she takes her time and so also is the bowler Belize and the umpires not looking at them that we need to get this game going. Two runs, IJ. What a way would it be for Crystal Bell to win the game for Nigeria? On the leg side, not out. Umpire Enesic nods his head, shakes his head. No, there is no need for appeal there. You want me just look at the required run rate and the current run rate. The required run rate is 1.16. 1 11 balls needed it for just two runs. IJ, I must say, Nigeria will be happy with this victory. Absolutely, they will be happy with this one. Denying Rwanda an opportunity for, of winning on scattered, of finishing the first round of games of matches on scattered. Plays it towards point, holds it down. The pressure is still on, the game is still close. It's two dot balls already. Ten runs in ten balls, two runs, IJ. Everybody is just waiting at the pavilion. When will this winning run come? Christopher looks to be saddled with that, with that job, with that opportunity. She's just 16 years old. Let's see if she can pick up the swing for the Nigerian side, the defending champions. Slaps it to a point. Still no run, IJ. There's no pressure here. A lot of people are on their feet at the edge of their seats. They're just hoping that this two runs goes immediately. But Rwanda is still putting out a fight. And we knew very well the current bowler would definitely put up a fight. And that is what she's doing. She has three balls left in this night. 18.3 overs. Yeah, three balls left. Three balls, ball, dot balls so far. Belize. He's doing the job for the Rwandan side. Forward defensive. She's not so much in a hurry. She just wants to go down. Now, two balls left. A lot of people are clapping and encouraging her to still hold on. A lot of tension, a lot of people. You can see the batters having a discussion with each other. What would that discussion be? Do you want to take a single? A lot of people are probably thinking that extras will come. But remember, look at it, IJ. Two runs, eight balls. Diane having a discussion with the bowler. Don't do anything extra. Keep it there. Keep the ball, but wicket to wicket. Put to the leg side and a single will be taken. And now the game has been tied, IJ. We just one ball left in the 19th over. I beg your pardon, the scores are leveled. Current run rate, IJ, is five required run rates. <laughs> you do me the honors to say that. 0.86. 95 runs on the board. Salome Sunday. Salome on strike. <laughs> Diane holding on. Salome's last trip, last previous, three previous balls. She's taking boundaries. Let's see what this. Shot! What a way to finish the game! That is a perfect square cut shot by Salome Sunday. She knew what she was going to do. The moment the baller bounced the ball there and she took the bull by the arm. Just look at 
another shot, IJ. Perfect way to end the game for Nigeria. Yeah, by Amir was saying Salome's three previous balls. She took about two boundaries, and the last ball of this game, she's taking another boundary.